Okay, let's see if we can make any progress today. Totally confused about what to do now, but isn't that always the case? We have Timmy, we have Nate. We did find a handy socket wrench and a dropped feather last time. Some empty soup balls. We have a double-sided tape and a disguise. We want to get the dropped feather into the disguise somehow, but we need a hat for that, and I don't know how we get that. I don't know if Bill has anything. Bill not overdo it. Nope. Bill has nothing. Okay, maybe the others have. I don't know. We'll just try to talk to everyone. Esther, please. I should let her keep even if. Nope. Oliver, please. If I just. Nope. <laughs> just one more time. I don't know what's going on here. Okay. We might have to oil it once the machine is up and running. It's not necessary. Good job, Nate. All of the necessary raw materials are in the machine. Now we just have to start it up. Mm, no. We also need a fuse for blowing stuff up. We need fire to blow stuff up. I, gu I guess we'll seesaw or something, I don't know. Another round? <laughs> it was my pleasure. I don't know. Maybe we can give Timmy something that when we put him on the seesaw again, again. I don't know. Sure. Okay, yeah, that was hey, not Timmy, what I wanted to do. What the... That was not what I wanted to do. Okay. Oh, we can seesaw Timmy. Oh, <gasps> yes. Except it. Don't you like seesaws? I'm grateful kids these days. Um. Ah, <laughs> Timmy isn't there. What? Okay. <clears throat> Timmy is now invisible. That V belt up there. Come on. Don't. Everything okay, buddy? And an ogre's hand with too low. <laughs> that was awesome. Invisible, non existent Timmy. Woo! Not really what we wanted to achieve, but I mean, that works too. Where should I stick my fist? <sighs> Come on. Eh. Grandad said that living in the city would make me lazy and fat. Athletic achievements like that prove exactly the opposite. Huh. <laughs> mm. Man. Oh, look. We can stab the handy socket wrench into the little sack because, you know, that's cool. Okay. I poke a hole in the bag. Sand trickles out. It falls onto the scales, thereby pushing one side down and the other side up. Fine example of cause and effect. But, how would that help? I don't know. Maybe when... I 
I don't know. Well, it could help if we have if we had um, a fuse and we have something like a candle standing in the other scale, and then we could uh, light the fuse or something like that. We need the stupid candle. I don't think F. I don't think I care if Ethel's gonna be thrilled or not. I just want the stupid candle. <sighs> yeah, never mind. I thought I'd found progress, but I hadn't. Oh, I found some. I found something new to look at. An empty bottle of cognac with a little musketeer hat for a cap. It says, another one for all on the bottle. Found a hat, found a hat. I don't like alcohol, but the cap's funny. I'm with you, Wilbur. I do not like alcohol. Here we go, now. Progress. A musketeer hat with a feather. Hmm, that reminds me of someone. Remy without a hat. Totally unthinkable. Ha ha. All right then. Now, oh, now we're making progress again. Hi, Ethel. No, 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 no. Let's see how good the disguise is. Okay. Yeah, sure. Cool, cool. Try your luck. Look who's back, Ethel. It's me, Remy. Um, Monsieur de Dumas. Monsieur de Dumas, you're back. Um, yes. But only very briefly, because I uh, have to go back. What is lurking down there at the bottom of that frightful hole? Too dark to see anything. There's a whole wild world down there. It's fantastic. No time for travel reports. I need to ask you to do something. I'll tell you everything, but for now, please. Yes, something you have to do for me. Oh, of course. Anything. I want you to help the zombies under the mounting of rubbish. Oh, well, is that really necessary? The way things are at the moment, we use every friend we can get. Hmm. Wilbur said something to that effect as well. What do you reckon? Um. Remy's probably right. Exactly. Listen to Wilbur. <laughs> okay then. What should I do? Help the zombie woman Esther mix this fluffy paint the zombies need. That shouldn't be a problem, as long as they don't eat me. I can guarantee they won't. <laughs> oh, Timmy, you're here too. Where is Monsieur de Dumas? Um, um, uh, he's gone back down the shaft again. Shame. <laughs> wait, 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 I want the candle. Give me the candle, dude. I don't think Ethel would be... Th really? Ethel left a stew pot with a stew behind. Ah, but I don't think that's a problem. A good stew can simmer for days on its own without any harm. Okay, maybe we need to have not Ethel in our hat. I don't know. Alright, cool. Ah, Ethel and Esther. Look who I have here. This is Ethel. Ethel, this is Esther. Oh, hello. I... I think you've already met. I... I'm very sorry that my husband and I scared you so much before. <laughs> and, um... I'm sorry that I nibbled you a bit. That's okay. It can happen. I like the flower in your hair. Very pretty. Oh, thanks. I like the fact that you don't want to eat me. <laughs> Wilbur said you had some kind of alchemy problem. I'm trying to make pink paint. 
But it has to be fluffy. Ah, oh, understood. Show me what you've got. Peace between rats and zombies. That feels pretty good. Yay! Whee! When do you think the fluffy paint will be ready? I bet we'll be finished with this before you boys have got your slate sorted. That's good news. Don't tell Gulliver about it. Let's surprise him. My lips are sealed. I think that's a good idea overall, yes. <laughs> Alright, so maybe we can now go and get the um, get the candle. That's a little bit of progress. Ethel won't need this while she's with the zombies. Thank you, finally. I'll light it from the fireplace. Thank you, so, finally. That's done. Holy moly. Where should I <sighs> Come on. Well there. I'll just press the candle onto the cross piece where the missing pan used to be. Oh. So, that should hold. Where should I st I Now we need... Okay. I poke a hole in the bag, sand runs out, oh. and falls onto the scales, pushing one side down and raising the candle on the other side. It ignites the explosive charge and boom! We have our coal. Yes. And, thanks to our ingenuity, all our fingers too. <laughs> Good. Run. Everyone take cover! Right then. Heads down. Ready to fire. Run. Ah! Now! Right now! 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 Uh, any moment now! <coughs> Nate! No! No! no, no. Ah. <coughs> oh my god, Nate! Nate! No! Ah, no! Oh, no, Nate! No! Nate? Nate! Don't do this to me! We've got to do something. You have to repair him. I can't. I'm not an engineer. That doesn't matter. Help him. I... Wait a minute. Maybe there is a way. Grandad told me about it. The best gnomish engineers pass this technology on to their students. Do it. Now... Tape? Work, you stupid thing. Do you have a heavy wrench? That works better. Not necessary. Nothing that he can't fix himself, I'd say. We were worried, Nate. Hey! But then someone saved you. As someone who'd forgotten for a moment that he couldn't. Nate! Are you okay? Worst engineering ever. Though. Dwarves believe coal brings happiness. I think it mostly makes for dirty fingers. Okay, guys, let's get the pile to the workshop. No, no, you're just fine. You can help. <laughs> Phew. I'll never be a miner, that's for sure. Whee! All right. The fire in the furnace heats the kettle above it, turning the water to steam, making the, the hotter the fire. Getting the coal here was quite a challenge, but the pile should be enough to get the delivery done. Coal, shovel, a little fire in the oven. Looks like everything's ready to go. Except we need the V thingy still. Where should I stick my... <sighs> coal, shovel, looks... Okay, cool. 
Oh, he's like brown or something hey, now. Hey. I've seen the map you made. Although, you can hardly call it a map, it's almost a miniature world. Yes, all the mountains and forests and cities. And you learned all that from only books and your parents' stories. I can't even imagine what it must be like to never have left this place. Blue sky, green trees, fresh air. You've got so much to see. I'll get you out of here, Nate. I promise. Are you okay? You scared me the way you didn't move after flying through the air like that. How did I repair you? Let me put it this way. I had to use every last bit of my gnomish engineering skills. Uh -huh. Don't ever do anything like that again, okay? Yeah, you did, didn't you? What do we need to... Right, even if we bring... Oh, okay, he said something we'd be starting the V-belt, so... If I disturb him for no... Alright, cool. Uh Shush! No time to chat. Um... Is it supposed to look like this? And? How's it looking? Shush! No time to chat. Okie dokie. Uh huh. Uh... Well, I mean, we did that, but it's not like we have a lot of new things to do. Or use. I need a fuse or some other way to detonate the explosives from a distance. You do realize we've already done that, right? The explosive charge should be enough to blow the... I hope that the caves... I need a... Yeah, he doesn't really realize that we've Remy already done that. We'll be fine. He's... Hope... Hey, no... Time for... Uh huh. All right, we still need the V belt, and that's what we need, really. <sighs> They're not overdue. There's literally nothing to do in here. Cool. Okay, so how do we do this flying Timmy thing? Stand on the seesaw again, Timmy. Sure. Nah, uh, clearly out of my reach. Where should I stick? I <sighs> uh, what, what, what exact? Yeah, I know, he's just messing all the time. And that was super cool, woo! <sighs> right. We have that, we have that. Man, there's like nothing left to do. I have to trigger something so we know how, what, how to put these together. I'm glad Timmy's with me. He reminds me of how I used Optimistic, fearless, naive. That's absolutely nothing. Why is this so hard? Why? Why? Especially when there's nothing to do anywhere. 
Why is it so hard? It should be... You think it would be easy to realize what I have to do? No, no, it's not. Please just let me throw Timmy up there, please. I'm sure Timmy could get the ha Like for really realsies. Hey, hey! What do we need? Right! Even if we bring the steam engine to full speed with the coal, we still need a V belt to transfer the energy. Good thinking. Time for. Just build it! Please. Pretty strong and very sticky tape. Welsh tape. It's famous. It's even double sided. That's twice as good as normal tape. This wrench looks like new. Wonder why it was thrown away. Neighbor probably had a bigger one. Hmm. The wooden board and the pipe form a kind of seesaw. Hmm, there's a few artificial columns and arches here. As well as natural caves. I wouldn't be surprised if there was some mining done here once. Neither Nate's size nor strength quite equals his enthusiasm, but it's good of him to help me. That V belt up there, would it do the job? Alright then, then we just gotta get it down somehow. The wooden board and the pipe form a kind of seesaw. Eh. I, I'm really making no progress whatsoever, there's nothing to do anywhere, and I think it feels like the problem is just knowing how to tape these things together. Where should I stick the tape? On the base? I'd first have to know what I need to stick- <sighs> I'm gonna- I haven't given up at any point in this game yet and you have to walk through, but I'm seriously gonna give up here. Ah. Okay, fine. I cheated. You know what we have to do? Hey, Nate. We seriously just have to put Timmy on the seesaw and then talk to Nate and be like, hey, you can me some extra weight. Ah! Nate, the can you come over for a minute? I need some extra weight. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> Oof. That should do it. Oh Ready, gosh. Timmy? More power. Woo -woo -woo. That's it. Ah! Thanks. Yay! Ha ha! We make a good team. Yippee! All right, finally, progress. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. That looks good. That's that. Now everything should work. The constructor works? We'll only know once we try. Come on then. All hands on board. Let's get this thing up to speed. If we can get the pointer into the green and keep it there, the machine will be running efficiently. Uh, and how do we do that? The good old gnome way. We just keep fiddling around with it until something happens. Uh, oh, Alright, you're the boss. Oh, there he is. First the door's closed. closed. Man. The problems in your life will be. That was not good. Wrong order. 
This is harder than I thought. Okay, 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 cool. So we start with this. Hmm, nope, that wasn't it. Timmy! That's gonna be important later. That's gonna be important later. Um... We have to get it into the green and keep it there. Keep going, guys. We'll eventually get the right order. Make hey, adjustments. the levers. First, we have to get the machine up and running. Well, I thought shoveling coal in it would do that. That's going to be important later. Are you for reals? Nate, oil! Aha, uh -huh, we have to oil, maybe. That's gonna be important later. Timmy! Hmm, <laughs> nope, that wasn't it. Seriously? First, we have to get the machine up and running. Okay, shut the door and start over. Okay, cool. Oh, here we go. Timmy! That was wrong. Wrong order! This is harder than I thought. First, we have to get the machine up and running. Okay. Open. Cool. Close door. Shut door. Wait, the levers. Make adjustments, maybe. Yes. Jimmy. Nope. Wait, the levers. <laughs> okay, okay. Close the door. Levers. Hey, levers. Harder than I thought. <laughs> you are not kidding. All right. Open. <laughs> Shovel coal. Close door. Hey, believe us. Two adjustments. Eight, the levers. Nope. Okay, went up a half. Oh, okay. I'll try more coal, I don't know. Darn it! Hey! The levers! Okay. Jimmy. Nope. 
Okay, we're definitely gonna need Don't an entire it. episode for this. So... We're gonna stop and, and do that the entire next episode, or something. Um... Okay, cool. So, uh... We'll be back for more machine adventures, or whatever. Um... Yeah.